Apostle Dr. Brooke Crawford invites you to their Bible study free conference. Call every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. You can call 701-802-5485. It's access code 629-5500-POUND. Her ministry, the International Intercessory Covenant Prayer Ministry, prays for salvation, healing, and deliverance. Her book titled, The Church That Makes the Difference, will bless your hearts. Order your copy today, 323-717-0444. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Well, we, here we are once again on The Authentic Word, and I'm Apostle Dr. Brooke Crawford. God bless you, and thank you, thank you, thank you. God's going to really bless you, but thank you so much for joining the program again today. And I tell you, the Holy Spirit is working. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is working. The Holy Spirit is faithful. The Holy Spirit is so faithful. Wow, he's the God of faithfulness. Glory to Jesus. Do you not know that without faith, you cannot receive the love of Jesus? And you know, in the last program, we talked about the peace of Jesus and that Jesus is peace and the power of the peace that he leaves in us, he gives us when we receive him and when we have been walking with him for a season, for a time. And it doesn't matter how long or how short it's been, God gives us all the same as far as the Holy Spirit and the power and the knowledge and the wisdom and the revelation of his word. He is his word. He is the word. And what does it say? The word came and dwelt among us. And the word is peace. And the word is faith. So today we're going to talk about the power of faith. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and what faith will do. Because see, we have faith because without faith, we can do nothing. Without Jesus, we cannot do nothing. Without faith, there is no power. <laughs> now I know you're saying, Apostle, now what do you mean by that? There is no power without faith. That's right. Do you not know that if you don't believe that you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have no power? Only power you have is the limited power that's in you as a physical being and your physical strength and that faith that you have in yourself, you know, and that faith that you have in yourself is not sufficient if you're not born again. That is a limited power, that faith. And so anything that you build or make or anything you're teaching, anything that you're performing and you don't have the Holy Spirit, it's only going to be to the limit of that which you already have. And, you know, we're all given gifts and talents from the Lord, callings and purposes and destinies. Woo! I tell you, we all have awesome destinies, unique destinies. And so, you know, what one person is called to do and be may not be your calling. So don't ever compare yourself with anyone. Why? Because God put a uniqueness in you that only you have. It's like a fingerprint. And nobody else can get it. Nobody can have it. No one else can fulfill that but you and you only. Because there's only one you. 
There's only one you, one original, even if you were born as a twin, a triplet, a quadruplet, or whatever. That's still only one you. Even though the, those other ones may look like you and have similar traits and characteristics as you do, but you have a uniqueness that all the rest do not have. And they have a uniqueness that you do not have. And so that's why God says to us, everybody is needed. Every person that's born in the earth, those who never got a chance to grow up to be and become fully what God had created them to be. Wow. So they're going to get a chance. If, if, if they didn't get a chance, an opportunity to reject or accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior, whether you believe it or not, it still doesn't change the truth. Hey, yeah! Because the truth is him. The truth is the word. And whether you believe something to be true or not, still doesn't change the truth that it exists. And so today I want to talk to you about that faith that it takes to trust God, to accept him, to believe who he is, that he is the savior of the whole world. And you can only have that by faith, by his faith. And then he gives you the grace after he has given you the faith to accept and receive him, now you have the grace that goes with that. But you cannot even receive the grace without the faith. You cannot believe nothing that's in this word without faith. The true word of God. And that's why this, this is the authentic word. Praise you, Jesus. So let me pray for you. Oh, and by the way, don't forget my book, The Church That Makes the Difference. You need to read that book. It's a short book. It's anointed. And you're going to feel the, the power of God on that book as you read it. You're going to feel the anointing. You, 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 some people don't understand what that is, what they're feeling. When you read the Bible, when you read the word of God, when something you're reading confirms what the word has already said, and there's no limit to your understanding of that as you grow up in the spirit to be all that you were created to be. Wow, hallelujah. With all your gifts and talents, and you know, and you say, well, apostle, you never talk about our weaknesses, you never talk about the bad things, because when you operate in the spirit world, there are no bad things. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bad things do not exist. Why should I waste time talking to you about that when you can change that with the power of the word? Hallelujah. With the power of your mouth. With the anointing of God on you. And as he speaks through you, and as he ministers the truth through you, because all he's going to ever minister through you is the truth. The truth of his word, the truth of him, the truth of your purpose, the truth of your calling, the truth of your identity, the truth of who you really are. And you are children of the most high, you're sons of God. Doesn't matter whether you're male or female, you're sons of God, you're in the image of God. And we do things like the way God do them. He said, you're in my likeness, my image, meaning mentally, emotionally, physically in the same image, in the same way he created and made you. That's what he did with Adam and Eve. And that's what he does with every seed that he puts in the womb of a woman that goes forth to grow and to develop into a full mature being. Holy Spirit being, believing that you one day, if you have not already done so, you have confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you ask him to come live on the inside of you. And how does he do that? With his Holy Spirit. So I pray for you right now. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will receive all that you want to speak to them right now. 
concerning your faith because you are faith. And so I just ask you to increase their faith because you said faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. And so they are now hearing your word, Lord, as you speak to them. And so I just bless your holy name. I just thank you for what you're doing in them right now. Yeah, yeah. And I give you all the glory and the praise and honor for it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, your son. Amen and amen. Thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach. Glory to him. Glory to him. Honor be unto him. Praise be unto him. Woo we Now, let me tell you. Now we know about Hebrews 11, verse 1, and we're just going to review it quickly. Uh, yeah, we need to review, review it quickly. <laughs> I'm not going to take a lot of time there because the Holy Spirit is nudging me to go somewhere else too as well. So praise the Lord. But it says, now faith is. See, faith is right now working. Why? Because you're listening to faith words now. So you're getting strengthened. You're getting built up in faith. You're, you're, you're going to be stronger in faith. You're going to be bolder in your faith. You're going to start speaking things that you never spoke before and because you believe it. And so part of faith is believing the word of God because it takes faith to believe it. It takes faith to receive it. It takes faith to act on it. It takes faith to go at any stage, at any level of faith, because it's a spiritual substance. It's the foundation of you receiving Jesus. You cannot receive Jesus without faith. You cannot have him for peace without it. You cannot do anything for him, by him, through, through him, without faith. Because everything that he gives to us, everything that he graces us with his goodness, his love, his mercy, and his favor. It's all through faith. Hey, yeah. And so what he is saying to you, the revelation of whatever I give you, I give it to you through my faith. And you receive it through my faith. And so my faith does all the work for you. That's what he just said. I just translated uh, when I just spoke in the spirit just then to you. And this is what God said. And so now that faith is working for you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, God get all the honor, the praise, and the glory because he's God, and there's nothing that God cannot do. He is the God of the impossible. And a lot of people say, oh, that's impossible. Not for God, it's not. God, there's nothing impossible for God. All things are possible with God. With God. Let God go with you. Let God be in you. Let God manifest himself through you. There is nothing that you would not be able to do. There is nothing that you would not be able to accomplish. And then when you have other people who are also walking in that same kind of faith with God as you're walking, now you're kindred spirits. Hey, hallelujah. Because if you're not born of the spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost, hey, yeah, la, 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 ba, ba. So, you don't have nothing. You don't have anything. You don't have salvation. You don't have eternal life. You don't have healing. You don't have deliverance. You don't have help. He's your help. He's your strength. He's your, poor, your great portion. Great portion. He's, he's miraculous. He's amazing. He done thought of everything before you could even get around to thinking of it. He says, I am able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Wow. You can't even ask him because you can't think it. You, how can you ask the Lord for something that you can't even think? 
<laughs> Praise Jesus. See how good Jesus is? He's going to make sure that he's going to go beyond what you're thinking because he, he can hear what you're thinking. <laughs> Praise his holy name. See, he's so amazing that he can hear the thoughts of every human being right now on this planet. Now, you think about that, how magnificent, how outrageously amazing he is, how awesome. I, there are no words in no language to describe a God like that. Oh, my, 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 my. And so, it is virtually impossible in any language to try to give a defined description of God? No. It's not even possible. No language, no how many words you may use that would go on into infinity that still would not be enough. Hallelujah. Now let's get to this verse. <laughs> and this is verse 1 in Hebrew chapter 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Wow. Faith is the supernatural substance. Wow. An invisible supernatural substance. Ah, la la lu korabe ke korabaha. Things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Do you not know that you know your faith work when you don't see no evidence? Now, I know you say, her apostle done lost her mind. <laughs> because man, what does he do? He goes by what he can see. And so, if we keep going by what we can see, we're always going to be limited. Because you can see much more if you're in the spirit by faith. Now, you say, what? Yes. That's what limits us in what we do in this world because we're going by what we see. And if you go by what you see, that don't take faith. If you already see it, you don't need any faith to believe for it because you already see it. So your faith doesn't grow. Your faith is not activated. So you're trusting in what you can see. Wow, that's a very limited way to live when you are a son of God. And so you, you, you don't go by what you see. You're not justified by what you see. See, because what you see is limited to the law. What you see is limited to your physical limits of your eyesight. And your eyesight can only see so many miles away. And beyond that, it can't see beyond that. We think we're seeing beyond that because the limit of what we're seeing is just that. It's limited. So we don't realize that there's way more behind, further and further than what we can see. So that's why he said, you don't live by that. You live by faith. You, the, you walk by faith. You talk by faith. You stand on faith. You live by what you cannot see. <laughs> you cannot see faith. I'm using this powerful word, but you can't see the faith, but you can see the evidence of the faith. You can see the evidence. So, and for the evidence of things not seen. See, you got the evidence of the things not seen. Praise the Lord. So faith is such a powerful spiritual substance that through faith we understand that the worlds, now I jump to verse three, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Don't you know that faith can frame worlds just by what you're speaking, just by if you're speaking the word of God. 
That's why if you speak healing, you're going to receive it. And the doctors say you're not going to get healed. You're going to die. You're going to die of this or that. But the word says, by my stripes you are healed. And then in Peter's, it says, and by my stripes you were healed. Past tense, you were already healed. You were already healed before you realized you needed healing. But you could not receive that. Why? Yeah, because you didn't have the faith to speak it before it manifested. Because faith works by speaking. Faith is the power of the word. See, there's power in the word of God. That's who the word of God is. Power. God is power. God is faith. Jesus is faith. Jesus is power. And so the Holy Spirit and that works together were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Do you understand how amazingly miraculous that is? That things that you see in this physical, natural world, in this country, in this nation, in this society, all the things that we see, what we see about each other, all of that. Do you not know that was made from things you don't see? That was made from stuff that do appear. It was made by the supernatural spiritual substance of faith. Wow, <laughs> hallelujah. The spiritual supernatural substance of faith created you and I, created everything that's on the planet and every planet out in the galaxies, every planet in the terrestrial, every planet in the terrestrial, everything that we can see was not made by anything that we can see. It was created by a supernatural invisible substance called faith. You were created as a seed by faith, by speaking. God spoke that person into, into existence. You are so, that's why you're so unique. Because whatever he spoke into you, because you always existed. There was never a time when you did not exist. You were spiritual substance. You were spirit. You was a spirit person already existing. You, were all, you came out of Father God through Jesus. And it was your time for you to be born into the earth realm. Now I know this is really heavy. This is really deep. This is, you really have to ask God to give you an understanding of this supernatural revelation that I'm imparting into you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, let me just turn to this real quickly. And I know I hate to cut this short and I, this is going to turn into another uh, program on this particular topic of faith. But I have to show you this and it's in Galatians chapter three. And in Galatians chapter 3, it says here, uh, uh, verse 11, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. So if you think you can keep the law perfect, no, you can't. And you're not justified through that anyway, because that's of your own work. That's not through faith. But to operate in faith, you can get a lot more done. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. And it says in the sight of God, it is evident for the just shall live by faith. If you are truly a justified person, you're living by faith. You're not living by what you can see. You're not li living by your limited 
physical abilities and gifts and callings. No, you are living by faith. You are justified by faith. Your faith make you whole. And it says the law is not of faith. See, the law is not even of faith. So you, <laughs> that's why that's not going to work anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then it says here, but the man that do them shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and made us uh, 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 be made cursed for us. So you're not cursed anymore. You know, don't let the devil tell you you're cursed and that curse came from your family all the way down. No, that's already been destroyed, cut off by Jesus Christ. And so how are you living? You're living by faith. Now let's jump down to verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. So how can you get that faith? Through the spirit of God, through the Holy Ghost, through believing it and receiving it and acting on it with the power of your mouth, the power of the word. And on that note, I'm going to have to say goodbye, but I'm telling you, replay this message. This is probably one of the most powerful messages that I've done so far in the last year or so. So I just want to bless you. And I thank you for allowing me to teach you about faith, how faith really works. And that was just the small tidbit. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God bless you. And join me next time because it's going to be even more exciting and greater revelation in Jesus' name. And I love you. And bless the authentic word, OCN. And I'll... I'll see you next time. Shalom, shalom.